Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today I want to answer a question that we often get asked, and that is, how do solar panels go with hail? And it's a good question, one that needs to be answered. So solar panels are designed to withstand hail. They have tempered glass on the top of them, which is very much like the windscreen of your car. It is designed to withstand impacts. Now the big question is, well, how hard is the impact it's going to have to take? So if it's small hail, it's no problems at all. The solar panels can handle it, no worries at all whatsoever. However, if we're talking cricket ball size hail, well, it could be another story. So let's have a, have a bit of a test here and see how this solar panel goes with some impacts. I brought a hammer here just for the occasion. And so I'm gonna give it a, a, a reasonable, reasonable way. You see there, no problems at all there. Bit harder again. No worries at all again. That's, a, pre that's a, a pretty good hit with the hammer there. And you can see the, the solar panel is handling, handling that impact really, really well. Okay, let's go for a really good slog here. There you go. So that's a hammer with direct impact, a whole lot of force down on it and you can see the glass has shattered. Now, the, like I said, it is tempered glass on the solar panel, so it, it stays all together. It just has all these, all these fine little cracks going all over it, and you can see the point of impact, there's actually an indent in the solar panel there. So it stays together just fine. So the question is answered by saying, look, solar panels will handle normal everyday hail just fine, up to sort of, uh, 25 mil, something like that would be fine. However, when you start getting larger, like cricket ball size hail, well, not much can stand in its way. It is going to be, uh, be damaged. Now, saying that, we have uh, pulled off hundreds of solar panels off roofs before, after uh, hail storms. And the reason we've had to pull them off is actually because the roof underneath the solar panels is being replaced. We need to pull the panels off so they can replace the roof sheets and then we can go back and reinstall the solar panels. And the panels have been fine, but the roof sheets have been damaged. Now, the solar panels are usually okay, well, in southeast Queensland anyway, with storms, because storms usually tend to come from the southwest aspect, and solar panels are usually facing north. So the winds coming from the, uh, the southwest, the hail's sort of been driven from the southwest, it's coming down on an angle like this, it's hitting a solar panel facing north-ish aspect and it glances off. It doesn't make a full direct impact. So that is one of the reasons why solar panels usually come off quite well. However, if the impact is direct and if, if the hail is large enough, yes, you are going to have impacts like this on your solar panels. But look, the good thing is that it's very rare that you actually get hail that large. And the other thing is, something like that would be covered under your home and contents insurance. So it is covered. It's not like you're going to be out of pocket a huge amount of money. So look, I hope that's answered the question for you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.